Hi guys, Daz here with yet another comic book haul. This time it's episode 58, and I know last time out I said that I won't be posting up another haul until after this week's MCM Birmingham Comic Con. But you know me, I'm kind of addicted to this thing. And uh, I've got 29 books to show you. Nothing majorly, but some pretty good £1 finds from the shop that has just relocated in the centre of town in Gloucester. I've also been to Mum's house just to pick up a couple of books because um, there's going to be some artists there that I'm hoping to get signed and uh, a couple of uh, back issues, nothing major but let's have a look at the books so like I said, went to Mum's house because for once at the Birmingham Comic Con I'm going to have five artists um, and I'm going to be getting some real key books signed I think uh, the first Resident Alien I'm going to be getting signed by one of the artists I'm going to be getting uh, The Woods signed from Boom Studios uh, I'm going to be getting uh, JSA Secret Files and Origins, the first Kendra Saunders signed. I'm hoping to get Green Lantern issue 50 signed um, by Ron Mars. And that's the first parallax. Well, grab this from Mum's house. This is issue 104. Just another book. Nothing, uh, nothing major league. Like I said, I'm not going to pay to get it signed, but if they're free... Why not? Ron Mars worked on this. This is Green Lantern, issue 104. Just salvaged a couple more books. Nothing major again, but uh, later on in the year, I'm going to the Leamington Spa Comic Con, and Jamie Delano's there, who's famous for Hellblazer. So I grabbed up issues 13 and 14 of Hellblazer. Oh, down goes Clayface. As, like I say, I'm hoping to get those signed. The Lamington Spa has been good for signatures. Last time I, I got John Wagner. He's there again this year. So I'm hoping to get, uh, among other things, my uh, Detective Comics 583 first uh, ventriloquist signed by him. I'm also getting my uh, first Doctor Who in American Comics signed, a Marvel premiere book. Uh, Clayface's return with this. Salvage this one. Oh, well, by the way, I've also got a, a ton signed by Al Ewing at Lamington Spa. It'd be nice if he will be back again. He has been there a couple of years. If so, I would certainly get my uh, Mortal Hawk issue 2 signed, Dr. Fry, and probably the Avengers 682 second printing. So salvage this one from Mum's house. This is Justice League of America, issue 27. The only reason I did, it's a Kevin Maguire Exorcist homage cover, and it's now been added to the Key Collectors app. Okay, onto the books that I have purchased. Starting with a misfire, it's not like me, but late at night, I was convinced that this was the first appearance of the Royal Flush Gang. I should have known better, but I only paid £1.99 for it. Low grade as always, Justice League of America, issue 54. It's on his staples, as Dazzy says, but it is detached centre pages. So, that's why it's £1.99. That's ever, even still, it's a 12 centre. Pick this one up, uh, another low grade book, but I've been specking on this book because, because of the Doom Patrol TV series. I generally believe that uh, we're going to see Metamorpho in the Doom Patrol show at some point. And I also believe we're going to see this character at some point. And this is Metamorpho issue 10, the first appearance of Element Girl. Again. I only paid initially about £2 for this, but it came and some of the ads have been cut out. So I contacted the seller and he gave me it for free. Uh, it's a seller I've used quite often. So that was nice. It's another one ticked out of my encyclopedia as well. It was a good read, actually. So, yeah, like I say, specking on metamorpho books at the moment. Uh, you know, you look for a book and you can't find it. So you bid on eBay for it. And then you find it in the shop and you buy it for a pound. And then you find out your bids won as well. So now I've got two copies. But again, I only paid two pound and change for this. Aquaman issue one. I've got two copies now. And this is from the New 52. And this is obviously the first appearance of the trench. Uh, the trench, you know, with those uh, flesh-eating creatures that attacked Aquaman and Mira on the boat in the Aquaman movie. Uh, they're going to be getting their own movie. Uh, one of my hot comic book alerts. So, you know me, I like to get my hot comic book alerts. Uh, first appearance of the trench. This is a 10 to 15 pound book still. Okay, 
Now, like I said, I uh, picked up a ton of one pound goodness uh, a week or so ago at this new shop. Well, I say it's a new shop. It was initially uh, very close to my place of work, but then it relocated in the center of town. And now they've been getting a lot of new books in. And in my last time out, I picked up a load of nice key issues for a quid a piece. Well, I revisited it because that's what I do. I can't help myself. Picked up this one, no real significance other than it's another nice Ron Mars comic book. And that is Silver Surfer issue 71 for a quid. Nice, pretty uh, presentable and hoping to get that signed by Ron Mars. Moving on. Like I say, pound a piece for these books, which I think I've done pretty well at. This is a Batman The Dark Knight, issue one. This is a volume one as well. High grade. This is a first appearance of Dawn Golden, Lieutenant Forbes and Mira. Not the Mira under the water though. Or is it Myra? I don't know. So that's the first appearance. Uh, like I say, nothing major league in the first appearances, but a nice David Finch cover. Whoever I bought these books off of, he certainly was a David Finch fan. Moving on to the second volume of Batman the Dark Knight. For a pound a piece, again. And this is the first appearance of the White Rabbit, who is Jaina Hudson, another character that was in my encyclopedia, ticked off. It's also the first appearance of Lieutenant Jack Forbes and Vortex. I think Vortex was the same character who played Zebra Man. So, there we go. This is a book I've seen people specking on for some time. Um, we are getting a Green Lantern movie at some point in the DCU. And, of course, Jon Stewart is heavily supposed to be a part of that, teaming up with Hal Jordan. But uh, then you start looking into the other Green Lanterns that might be making an appearance. And one of those is Simon Baz. Now, Simon Baz, I had the first appearance was a free New 52, uh, free comic book day, New 52 book. But this is Green Lantern issue zero. I've seen this in a few people's videos from the New 52. And this is the origin of the sixth Green Lantern, Simon Baz. This is where Simon Baz becomes the Green Lantern. It's also the first appearance of Agent Fed and Agent Valdez and Sierra Baz. For a quid, thank you. This is another character that's been in my encyclopedia. I've been, I've been looking for this for some time. Finally located it. This is Batgirl, issue five from the New 52. This is the first appearance of Gretel, who is Lisley Boner, or Bonner. Also the first appearance of Boss Whitaker and the Whitaker mob, which is his villainous group. Pretty nice cover there. Moving on, and we have Batman. Issue 28 from the New 52 again. And this is the first appearance of Bluebird. This is where Harper Road becomes Bluebird. Again, character in my encyclopedia. This story continues in uh, Batman Eternal, issue one. Then we move on to another Batman book. This time, Gates of Gotham, issue one of five. Another character in my encyclopedia. And that is The Architect, the first appearance of The Architect with Zachary Gate. It's also the first appearance of Nicholas Anders. A ton of new 52 books in this shop. These are a couple of nice finds. This is my second copy of this one. This is Avengers Anex, issue 7 for a quid. Yes, please. That's the first cameo of Hope Pym. Yeah. Big player in the MCU, about to appear in Avengers Endgame. Like I say, guys, the books do get better. Like I said, still a pound. Following on from that, I finally found this one. This one eluded me for a while. A next, issue 10. And this is the first full appearance of Hope Pym. It's also the first appearance of Dead Eye, who was Clint Barton. Donner, who was Thor Odinson. Iron Cross, who was Anthony Tony Stark. Overman, who is Simon Williams. Pincer, who is Scott Lang. SS Agent, who is John Walker. Stormtrooper, who is Eric Masterson. Swordmaster, who is Brandon Cross. 
and the first appearance of the villainous Exiles team and the Thunderguard group. Ton of first in that book. Again, these Anex books, 7 and 10, are £10 plus books. Crimin criminally uh, undervalued, I think, the first appearance of Hope Pin. Another quid book. This is New 52 again. Catwoman, issue 13. What a stunning Greg Capullo Joker cover. This is a Death of the Family tie-in. And uh, this book goes for some coin. This is high grade too. Like at least a 9.6. So, you know, on Comic Book Realm, it's a $13 book. On eBay, it's a it's a 10 to 15 book solidly. So, for a quid, okay. This was a lovely little find. This was... Another new, uh, sorry, another Batman book. This is Batman The Return. The one shot. And look at this, guys. It comes with a David Finch autograph. Yeah, he was a cover artist in uh, Penciler. That's my third David Finch autograph. Like I said, I've got my photo with him. He signed my um, first uh, Ronin, I think. Uh, is it 11? And he's also signed my first Hope Summers. So uh, that's a great book to have. Uh, it's also the, another encyclopedia uh, tick off as it's the first appearance of the Leviathan team. Leviathan team. It was Talia Al Ghul, Professor Pig, who was Laszlo Valentin, the heretic, son of Pig, who was Jonas Valentin, Dr. Dedalus, who was Otto Net, and Goat Boy. What a character, Goat Boy. I can say, stunning David Finch artwork there. I do like David Finch's work. Good guy as well. Last time I, I hit a ton of Spider-Man books. I went back, grabbed a ton more. Key issues, good ones. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue 546. And this is the first full appearance of Mr. Negative. He was a, a recent player in the uh, Amazing uh, Spider-Man uh, PS4 game, I believe. And uh, Mr. Negative is Martin Lee. It's also the first appearance of Bill Hollister, Freak, Mia Flores, and the Spider-Mugger, who is Sean, Sean Boyle. Following on from that, we have Amazing Spider-Man issue 559. And this is the first appearance of Screwball who is uh, currently unknown, but Screwball appeared in some animated uh, Spider-Man cartoons. Also the first of Paper Doll, who is Piper Dally and Bobby Carr. And that's a brand new day tie-in. Moving on, we've got another first appearance in issue 565. And this is the first appearance of Fracture. Fracture. Who is Anna Tatiana Kravinov. And she is the daughter of Craven the Hunter, and she takes up her father's mantle in this book. A bit more old school this time. And the reason I pick this up, you'll find out in a sec. This is Amazing Spider-Man 296. And like I say, I have to show you, the reason I pick this up, it's on the Key Collectors app now. And this is the first... It's going to take me some time to find this, so bear with me. But um, it's the first unofficial appearance of a character who has been seen in a lot of current books. Ah! How to be prepared for a video. There we go. This is the first appearance, unofficial appearance of Spider Cop. If you don't believe me, guys, check out the app. First appearance of Spider Cop. And uh, I think it was rumoured that Spider Cop may be appearing in some form in, in the new Into the Spider Verse film. So I'm sure about that somewhere. You never know with all these Spider Man mashups, he may well show up. Okay, moving on. Another amazing spider bomb book. What a surprise. And this is issue 656. 
This is the first appearance of Spider-Man's armour. Mark II, or MK2. And also the first appearance of Chief Pratchett, Zachary Starling Pratchett. Also in this book, we get the origin of Massacre, who is Marcus Lyman. That's a pretty nice Marcus Martin cover. And a big time Spider-Man tie-in. This is a lovely cover, this one. This is, I don't usually buy books for cover, but when they're on the, uh, when they're a key issue and they're selling quite well on eBay, you've got to grab them, haven't you? This is Amazing Spider-Man issue 602. Gorgeous Adi Granoff cover featuring Mary Jane Watson. This is a £10 book. Up next, we have Amazing Spider-Man, issue 568. I believe, doing a little bit of research, that this is the first cameo appearance of Anti-Venom, who is Eddie Brock. I picked up uh, 569 and 570 recently as well. Uh, the 570 was that stunning Adi Granoff uh, variant cover. Goes for big books. A later book now from Amazing Spider-Man, and this is issue 692. Another character from my encyclopedia has ticked off. The first appearance and origin of Alpha, who is Andrew Maguire. Quite interesting that Spider-Man only appears on the cover of this book. Not even in his own title. So, uh, looking forward to reading all about Alpha. Two Spidey books to go. First of these is another stunning cover that goes for some coin. This is Amazing Spider-Man, issue 601. And this is has a very low print run by all accounts. And it's a cover art by J. Scott Campbell, this one. And uh, featuring Mary Jane Watson again. Another gorgeous cover. Again... On a good day, this is a 15 to 20 pound book all day long. This one is a nice cover too. Issue 611, my final Spider-Man book. Goes for some coin again. And this is obviously due to the fact that Scotty Young did the cover and it features Deadpool. Again, a 20 pound book guys. And my final book is a bit of a novelty book, but it goes for some coin. This is a 25 to 30 pound book all day long. Dug deep for this one. Thrower. This is from Bongo Comics, and it is Futurama, issue one. I've got another Futurama comic in my collection as well, which is like a CGC uh, homage cover. But uh, yeah, this goes for some serious coin. Uh, it's the first appearance of Leela, who is Turala Leela. Bender, who is Bender Bending Rodriguez. Fry, who is Philip J. Fry. Amy Wong, Dr. Zoidberg, who is J. John A. Zoidberg. Hermes, who is Hermes Conrad. Professor Farnsworth, who is Hubert J. Farnsworth. And of course, it is the premier issue of Futurama. A, co a cartoon I've watched a few episodes of. Along the lines of Simpsons, been in outer space. Good book to have. All done within 20 minutes, guys. Next time, hoping to have some very, very good books for you as I hit the MCM Kong. Yes, Clayface and Killer Croc and Dazzy over. Oh, thank you so much. I've just finally hit 650 subscriptions. If you like what you see in my videos, please like, subscribe, all that jazz. It means the world to me that you're supporting me. Bye for now.